Good day, welcome to Snappy Valley Fishing. Quick video, I'm still off the water. Um, I fractured my Achilles tendon, or ruptured my Achilles tendon, and I've had a moon boot on up until last Friday, so I've not been out to take the boat out and go fishing, but the moon boot's come off now. I'm just doing a bit of rehab and physio to get my uh, foot working properly again. Um, just a quick video on multi-tools and um, what you guys use. Leave comments as to what you guys use, but it seems in the morning that everybody uses Leatherman multi-tools on their boats. Um, I use something different. I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna do an unboxing here of the tools. just coming from the US, okay? So I'm just gonna unbox this quickly and I'll show you. It's taken about four weeks for this to come in. <clears throat> the box. And we have here, a lot of you won't know what these are, but this is a Gerber multi-tool, okay? Now the reason why I choose Gerber multi-tools, again, I'll open it up the box so you can see. Get a nice pouch of it, goes on your belt. And that's your multi-tool. So it looks pretty similar to a Leatherman, it's got pliers and whatever, but the beauty of the Gerbers, unlike a Leatherman, is that you flick it with one hand to open your pliers, and they're good to go. And then you have all your various tools in there. Again, this might be a different, I'll show you the reason why I've got this anyway in a minute. So we have a saw, that when you open these out, they actually lock in place, and you have to release them by pushing this down and to push them back again. So if you're using something in here, you know it's not going to fold back on itself and maybe cause a finger trapment or something else. Um, other tools in there, just a hole. I think that's to put a lanyard on if you want to hang it somewhere. Other one here is your normal can opener. Super sharp. This one here is your Phillips screwdriver. Other side. Is your knife super sharp and again it doesn't fold back on itself so to release it just pull this collar back there and it flicks back down again then we also have flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener another flathead screwdriver And a file and then to close it again you push the button and you fold back in itself it won't open again until you actually flick it open and it's open again there's cutters there as well and they are sharp again so that's what I use this there's a little measurement on the side as well made out of a very high quality stainless steel now the reason why I bought this or I haven't actually bought this <clears throat> this was a warranty replacement. Now, I bought the original back in 1993, I think. So 20 years ago, I bought this. So pouch has changed a bit. The tool hasn't changed, but this one broke. See that? There's a little retention kind of little plate in there which keeps everything in place of a spring, and it broke. So I emailed Gerber with the parts, sent him a picture of this and the broken parts. I said, can you please uh, supply me with the spring and the uh, little plate that goes in there, blah de blah There's three items. They couldn't have been very much, maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks at most. But um, they replied to my email and it said, no problem, sir. We'll just send you a whole new one out. So 20 years of use, and that's still pretty, it's still sharp, it's no rust on it, anything like that and they've replaced it with a brand new one. So really happy with that. And again, one flick, good to go. So it's cool if you're taking it out your pouch, you haven't got to worry about having the other hand, just flick it, pliers are there, good to go. So that's just a quick, um, just some quick information on Gerber. No, uh, pretty underestimated. They are very, very huge in America. And again, I've had mine for 20 years and I love it and I will continue to love it and hopefully it served me for another 20 years. Okay, thanks for watching.